Okay, so this is the second video. Um, now we're gonna see Ben on the first piece. Um, your times were great, and you actually look way more controlled and way better than the last time that we did. Um, we did in um last week. So yeah, really happy about that. I'm um, really glad to hear that was that was one of the fastest um one case that you've ever done. Now let's go over technique. Let's start from the finish right here. We chat about this band. Um, basically, your hands are a little too much to the sides, in my opinion. I know that the way you try to, but if you can cut it out a little more, your release is going to be way cleaner, which is actually pretty good. And this one, just see that your starboard or, or goes out all the way, and your port um, doesn't, so it seems like you're flipping you're like releasing on the water with your port or and you release on starboard you're washing out a little too, water, too much water but it looks a little better and that's probably why you had problems with steering because probably your starboard like was a little more cleaner and your board got caught um, so you just probably went to like towards port all the time I don't know if that makes sense so yeah, um, I would like you probably to finish a little probably in front of your body, but it looks way better than the last time I saw you roll and when we did steady state and all this stuff, so good job. I don't know if you can see though that your starboard hand is a little higher than your forehand, which at the finish we should try to make it as equal as possible. So I would probably recommend you to, let's see, to finish on the same side. And it looks like you're leaning a little to starboard side as well. I don't know if you're trying to compensate or what, but some things to like, tiny things to, to see. Cool, so now we're gonna go at the stroke. From this angle, I cannot see your body really well, but it looks pretty okay. For this video, man, I'm gonna focus a lot on your blade work. So now you go to the catch. And something that we've been working on is early anticipation of the plate. Look how late you roll out. Like you wait till the last minute and then you go in. I would like you to start preparing. Remember what we talked about, how slight, how feather, that's really helpful. And again, I understand that um, this was a piece um, interval. Uh, it, was, it was an interval, so it was a piece. 1k piece and we were at higher rates so it makes total sense it's a little more challenging but tiny things that we can work during steady state or even with thinking about it it helps so if you had it in your head it helps and the placement goes in so what i would like you to start rolling up is at half slide so you go hands away body over legs and here would be a good point to start rolling out like around here when, you're, when your hands pass the knees, when you're lifting up your, your legs, you can start rolling. So you'll be more prepared for the catch and your cups is gonna be faster and cleaner. I don't know if before, if you can see it, you're touching water before placing your plate, which is like slowing the boat down. So that makes it a little more challenging. The digging looks still, it looks like you're digging a little more, but for what I remember, last time I saw you, you were digging way too much. So again, try to make sure, like like I said to Arthur, that you relax and you have a horizontal drive. You don't do it rainbow. So what I would like you to do is this horizontal, this being this part here, being your catch and spar here, being your finish, oops. So a straight line from the catch to the finish rather than this, this rainbow that hands low, then this part, you st we start the digging, 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 and then we release like all the way down, okay? Cool, oh, that was fancy. Oh, sh okay, I'm gonna do it again. Boom, cute. <laughs> okay, so, Again, it's really hard to see your, you are pretty far away. So let me see if we get a better angle. Mm -mm. It's hard to check it from here. 
and check other strokes. See here, roll out a little too early, too late. And I don't know if I can, if it's me from but from here seems like you're using your body a little too much on the catch too. It's someone. Uh, it's something that the team does it a lot, so I uh, will work it out. I know it's hard, and the digging still looks so pretty deep, and it looks like your starboard is way deeper, and that this one looks like port is about to get out, and starboard is in the water, but it doesn't look too dramatic. You're washing out a little water on the finish. And the hands are to the side, but again, it looks way better than the last time I saw you. It looks like you have a... The, the placement is not bad, again, like... But I just would like you to anticipate it and have it sharper. So you can connect better. And it's actually the connection here looks okay. But it could be way better. See, and here... That was way better with the digging. Right here, it should be good. But here you're digging, 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 digging. And that's where I would like, take a look at your board blade. That's the maximum digging I wanna see when you roll. But look how deep you go here versus here, right? That's because you leave your hands during this part of the stroke. You lift them up and then you bring them down. You do the rainbow thing. And check this one out. Fourth seems like it's going a little earlier than starboard. And your feathering and blades go to the water. And this was well, way better. This one looks how nice they are. Like they release it at the same time. I see them. I want you to like still take a look at your starboard arm because it's still like splashing water, it's still inside the water while your board is already like released. I don't know if because you're a starboard, but it's something that we can take a look at tomorrow. Oops, let's see. I wanna see if I get a better angle of you. Yes, that's a little better. Oh, I need to finish, the video is done. Okay, let's see. Here you can see even more your starboard arm going to the side and lifting up a little compared with the right one. The right one is great. Remember, remember what we talked about, okay? Um, if you have a cleaner release, um, it's gonna be better. Like, okay, when we sometimes when we try to like finish to the sides and when we try to like make it longer at the finish, yeah, it's gonna be longer, but it's gonna be clumsier and it's not gonna be clean. It's gonna be hard to release and we're gonna catch water Therefore, we're gonna be slower. So I prefer to like, for you to shorten up the, slow, the stroke um, at the finish, to have a clean release. Don't get caught in any water and glide the board run. And yeah, I'll try to get more video tomorrow. Here looks like, I don't know if he was away for something, but your position of the hands at the catch is kind of uneven. Yes, here you can see that the position of the hands like uh, when you catch, and you can see it on yours. It looks like you're a little like leaning to starboard side. Probably something that has to do with swim rowing. So I would like to like focus I would like you for you to focus more in keeping the body straight and to keep uh same parts equal, right and left equal, so you don't lean to the sides. I know it's little things. But yeah, great job today. I'm gonna let it play at the end so you can see. It. Oops. And see what, what we had issues on Thursday, um, Thursday last week. You look like exactly like Thursday last week, but like Thursday last week you were going at 26. And now it looks like you're going more at 26, 28, which is like the right thing. And it looks more control, it looks more, way better. So good job on that. Good job on keeping the ration and the timing. Sometimes, again, it sometimes comes from the head. Sometimes it's a mental thing. So I, every time I, you go to the water, you have to like be really patient and don't get frustrated and focus on what you're doing. And it's going to be fine, okay? Great job today.